Hello, Satnam. My name is Lawrence, and I'm going to be teaching a series of classes, nine minutes each, roughly nine, 11 minutes, three asanas, three movements, three exercises, each one being three minutes. And these are quite powerful, profound, and potent. The very first one is commanding the command center of the glandular endocrine system. This is referring to the pituitary gland. Before we get there, let's first tune in as we do in every Kundalini yoga class with the mantra, Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo and Ad Gare Name, Jugad Gare Name, Sat Gare Name, Siri Guru De Ve Name. Let's take a deep breath. To let go. And this time to tune in. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Namo on Garen Name, Jugan Garen Name, Sat Garen Name, Siri Guru De Vename, on Garen Name, Jugan Garen Name, Sat Garen Name, Siri Guru De Vename, on Garen Name, Jugan Garen Name, Sat Garen Name, Siri Guru De Vename. Humbly bow to the infinite ocean, the creative consciousness of the universe and of the Atman, of the soul. So first I'd like to read uh, the comment of this Kriya provided by uh, Guru Charan Singh Khalsa, an elder from the Kundalini tradition. He was kind of like Yogi Bhajan's second in command. And he wrote this wonderful book, uh, Kundalini Yoga Sadhana Guidelines, which I recommend to everyone looking to build their home practice, their personal practice and discipline. A lot of good intel there, kriyas, breathworks, pranayamas, and meditations. So we're in the words of Guru Charan Singh, we are in the great transition of the age. Its turbulence will make the old ways of coping ineffective. This quick set finds the center of the hurricane the calmness that gives clarity and confidence in the midst of chaos. Practice this set to joyfully ride the waves of time and to sense when to act and when to relax, when to be in sympathetic mode and when to be in a parasympathetic relaxed mode. So to begin, we'll have the left hand, um, the fingers over the center line of the forehead and the left thumb can just be relaxed. And then the right arm will extend straight forward from the shoulder. Here, close the eyes and pump the navel as fast as you can. The whole body must shake with the power of the navel. You may do this with or without breath of fire. Gaze is at the third eye. Find the center of the hurricane, eye of the storm.
about halfway, still steady as a statue. Move the pump the navel, breath of fire or just any breath where you can pump the navel as fast as possible. Last little bit, 30, 25 seconds. In this exercise, you're powerfully clearing out the subconscious mind. So steady yourself, pump the navel, gaze at the third eye, be aware. Bring it home, last little bit. And now to end, we'll take three full deep breaths, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, expand, exhale, let go of the breath, inhale, exhale. Now, last time, inhale deeply. Exhale completely. And holding the breath out, squeeze all the muscles of the body, fingers, hands, arms, shoulders, back, spine, torso, legs, feet, head, scrunch up. Hold for a moment more. Inhale. And we'll complete that sequence twice more. Exhale. Three bold, deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale completely. Apply Mool Band and squeeze every muscle, every fiber of the body, every part. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, final time, deep breath, to let go. and squeeze all the muscles. Inhale to relax. Take a moment and when you are ready, we'll move to the next asana. The hands are cupped like we're getting water. Elbows only very slightly bent and then the head is tilted back. Mouth is open, tongue and lips and the jaw are relaxed. So kind of a tilt in the chin and the neck and the head, arms are stretched forward, very light bend in the elbows, hands are cupped. And here, same process of pumping of the navel
halfway, strong and steady. Regulate yourself, nervous system, third eye gaze, command center. Pump the navel fast as you can. You can even use the mantra, satnam, every pump. Last minute. Like you're receiving the infinite water of creation of the universe from below, from above, from within. Infinite water of love. Thirty seconds. Five. Now holding the posture, inhale. We'll hold the breath for about 20 seconds. Lock the back molars and tighten your jaw, holding the breath in, holding the posture steady. Lock the molars back together, tighten the jaw. Exhale. That process twice more, inhale. Lock your back molars, tighten your jaw. Exhale. Final time, inhale and lock the back molars, tighten the jaw. Exhale and relax. Finally, we'll close with a movement meditation to clean the subconscious mind through stimulation of the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland, the sixth chakra ajna, center of perception and command, is responsible for intuition and projection. It is connected to the layer of neurons in the brain. We'll have the arms open like we're getting a hug. This is the inhale. We'll then suspend the breath in, holding the breath as long as possible as we crisscross the arms in front of us, palms facing the body, holding the breath in as long as you can, rapidly crisscrossing in front of the chest, And then when you need to exhale back out for the inhale to then crisscross the arms at your heart, gazing at the third eye. If you feel a little too spacey, you can have the eyes open, concentrating at a single point in the floor or the wall in front of you. It's said that practicing this Kriya can give you the spirit to conquer death and fear.
halfway. See if you can hold the breath in a little longer. Moving with the prana, with the breath of life, the life force. Complete the cycle you're on, and then relax. There's no holds after this one. You're invited to lie down and to even go to sleep, to really relax every part of the body and let it recuperate, to experience how quickly neurosis can leave you. I'm going to end the video. Please rest, and when you've completed rest, either continue practice meditation, or please remember to tune out, chanting long time sun or three long satnams, satnam. And the more so 